Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century and Apple just announced an update to the 12 inch MacBook. So in this video, I want to keep you updated on what has changed with the MacBooks as well as of course my thoughts. So the main star of the show was the 12 inch MacBook, which now features new Skylake processors by Intel that are supposed to bring more performance to the MacBook and especially more GPU performance. So Apple um, says or quotes that there will be a 25% increase of GPU power. CPU power probably won't be just a drastic change or improvement, unfortunately. On top of that, the MacBook now also gets one more hour of battery life, which is of course always good to have. And it's now also available in rose gold, in addition to the gold as well as space gray colors. So overall, I feel like this is a pretty solid upgrade. Now, of course, more CPU performance would have been amazing, but at least a small just increase in performance should be there with the new processors. And of course, the 25% in performance increase on the GPU side is also very welcome. In terms of color, I personally hate rose gold from the bottom of my heart, but I always see people on Twitter just loving the color. I can't relate to that, but anyways, it's now available, so if you always just wanted a rose gold MacBook 12 inch, then you can just pick this up. The prices haven't really changed at 1,299 US dollars for the 8 gigabyte version with 256 gigabytes of SSD or flash storage. On top of that, there was also a very small update to the MacBook Airs, and this is actually a small upgrade, but a very important one because now the 13 inch MacBook Air features eight gigs of RAM standard. So if you've seen my previous videos comparing the MacBook Pro 13 inch with Retina display to the MacBook Air, I always called out the four gigabytes of RAM on the MacBook Air that they just aren't future proof anymore. And it seems like even Apple agrees because they've now bumped this up to eight gigabyte, which is much, much better. So overall, I feel like this is a pretty solid upgrade, especially because the prices haven't changed and I really can't wait to see if there's also a good increase in the CPU performance. But if Apple doesn't say so, it's likely that there will just be a very minor improvement, if any. But that being said, I personally really, really like the 12 inch MacBook when I owned it a couple of months ago. And for me, it's not really that big of an issue that there's only one port. And if that's an issue for you, then there are a ton of accessories out there that you can just plug into this one USB Type-C port to get like four or five ports. I think these adapters are on Amazon for like 25 to 30 dollars. So this shouldn't be the biggest issue. And of course, more battery life is always good as well. So also let me know what you guys think of this update to the MacBook, as well as also of course the 8 gigs of RAM on the MacBook Air. I'm pretty pleased, especially for such a small uh, update in between just big events. It's definitely solid and you can't really complain about it. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section below. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks.